Friendship ended with Red Bull. I spoke about that at length. I mean, basically, they gave up on me. They it's it, they thought that I was washed as a chess player. Um, you know, I, I actually started streaming, but they they just thought I was washed. And then not only did not only did I you know sort of become a big time streamer, but I also um, I also won the 2019 U.S. Championship. So it was a, it was a good you know good you know kind of frankly f you in their face. Can play knight c4 and I can also try to go for some a5. I don't actually like my position. Um, how do I do this? If I go bishop e4, it's also knight c4, knight d6 as well. Um, don't want to do this, but I'll play d3. Duku is David Gabrilescu. Yeah, he's Count Duku from Romania. Um, I don't really want to play. I'm going to go here. Maybe h4, maybe bishop f4, maybe queen e2. I don't really know what's going on. Probably b5. Guess I go here, try to close this down. I'll probably play b4. Maybe I go knight b5. I can also take with a knight. I can also take with a pawn. I guess I take. I don't know if knight. I suspect I was supposed to take with a pawn, actually. But I'm not sure. Okay. Because now he gets an open diagonal. This could be really bad, actually. Like, really bad. Yeah, I have to go here, knight e4. And I'm, I'm probably in really bad shape. I'm going to have to go h4, h5 soon. Like very soon, or else I'm gonna end up losing. Let's go for it. I mean, I have to play for a tactic. If 95, I have rookie five. Again, 94, maybe I'm okay. Goes F6. That's actually probably a good. Okay, let's take. Maybe I go queen B3. Yeah, I have a very bad bishop. Okay, he takes with the bishop, which I think is a big mistake. Because now I have knight e4 and I can reroute my knight around maybe. I also have bishop d2. I just have to get these bishops unclogged. If I can clog the diagonal and un unglue the bishops, then it's playable. Hey, photo chest for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you to Boomzerus for the three. Rambo with the 2k freeze. Thank you, Kenson. Thank you to MP Sharky as well. Thank you so much. Once again, you guys, big shout out to Maria Emilianova. She did um she did come with all of those pictures. Uh, she took those pictures of various chess events. She is a, a journalist, a photographer, a jack of all trades when it comes to everything related to chess. So big shout out to her for coming up with or not coming up, but uh going through her archives and finding those pictures once again. I think I'm okay already because I can take and go Bishop A2. Thank you to S-Frax for the two months, 22 months. Thank you to Pablo John for the four, Baron for the nine, White Rice for the two, HY3 for the two, Kyle for the three. Thank you so much. Thank you to Lemon Wigs, Infernal Cat, Square Girl, Lorenzo, Apparax. Thank you to LPZ, Quaksha Delta, AB Chico, is Shaggles. Thank you to Soup Soup, Jobs as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Infer Inferno Flame Cat for the gift of sub as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, I can obviously take... I can go Queenie too. Do I want to take... Yeah, I think I do want to take out. Oh, he's take with a pawn. That was very stupid of me, but I'm still in the game very much. So I've rook a6 also. Yeah, this is. I forgot he could take it. If I if he gets a pawn to be through, my bishop dies. My bishop is dead for the whole game. So I have to do this even though I don't want to. Let's go here and rotate the rook around. Need a Papa start sips for the uh, eight months. Let's go here. Let's rotate the rooks. Actually, I should have put the rook on c2. Let's go, um, should have put the rook on c2. Very stupid of me. So I'll go here, hold the pawn. Maybe I probably try to develop my queen and my bishop around. Definitely worse here, but I, I have to play. If I can get the bishop to a2, I think I get a lot of play. I'm just going to develop my bishop, put my bishop back here. Queen g4 looks like a move here. Let's just go with it. Knight c5, I hit the pawn. I think I'm back in business now. I take and take. I'm very much back in business. And now I hit the pawn. Can't I just take and take? Oh, I gave him b2. Whoops. He misses it.
All right, let's keep going. Need a pop search for the nine months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's play Karo Khan here. I had eight six is not the right move, but I just want to play chess. Let's go here. Go easy on him. He's not a GM. No, he should be a GM though. He's very, very good. Very, very good. Thank you, Skippy Sammy, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. C4 logical. I can take if I want. I can also just play E6, Knight F6, I guess. Let's go here. 3,200. Yeah, it's it's decent. It could be better, but it could also be a lot worse. Okay, I'm going to take now. He's going to have to take, and then I'm going to go like Bishop E7 and Knight E5. It's not really clear. Let's go here and Knight E5, of course. Trade, castles. I didn't blunder, did I? That's just castle. He's going to go like... I guess I'll go A5. Not a bad move. I think I should go here. He can take... Who's there? Not a bad move either. Just go here. Oh, he... Ah. Just blundered that. He doesn't take advantage of it, though. I'm kind of lucky that in that way. Let's go here. Play Danya. Not, 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 um, not right now. He missed bishop d5, which would have been a huge advantage for him because he could have planted it, could have had a permanent uh, bastion on c5. But now it's now it's just game on. Although I got to be careful about my king here. My king is a little bit iffy. Okay, let's go back. The good news is he has a strong pawn, but it's also a weak pawn potentially. And now I can also reroute to f5. Queen c3, queen b4 looks fine. Maybe I just even go rook d6. Maybe. Probably not h5. Um, to develop my pieces somehow. Actually, let's just do it. If a3, maybe I just trade. Let's go back. I don't even know if this is right, but I want to keep pressure on, on this g3.2. Just go back. Because b2 is hanging. Okay, plays h5. Oh, I should not have played h6. That was a terrible move. Let's go here. Hit the deep on. Queen c3, maybe I go rook d5. He hangs b2 here. It's getting a little bit wild now. I can also move my rook, but g4 is actually a very big problem. Okay, let's just take. So takes, takes, fe6. f5, I think is a move. Okay, let's just take. He takes, and then I take, and then he takes, and I have check. And then I have check and I win. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Very good. Very, very good. So I take and then I take. I check. He can't run this way because I have a check. And if he goes this way, I eat the pawn with check and I, I can reroute it. I mean, maybe he should go go there anyway, but I think, I think it's losing. Because I also have f5 to close the diagonal as well. Let's eat the juicer. I can check on... No, I think I check here and play f5, maybe? I have g6, which is a move, too. But you have 7, king, g7. That should be... Uh, that should be winning. I just gotta... e7. Okay, what? Um, don't really love f5. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go g6. He's also 28-20, so I mean, if I sack material, I sack material, but... Shoot, this is actually just... Wait, no, no, I have check, check, and here. Yeah, I go check. I go check, and now I can block because the queen holds holds the juice. Queen holds the juice, and now I should be winning. Joe Baba wants to play with me? We already played a bunch of games, you guys. Chill. Chills. Chills it out. Oh, he's got rookies. <laughs> he's got a trick. It's a blunder, but it's not as... It's actually kind of a blunder, but it's a weird blunder. Because he's not cleanly winning at all. So let's go here first. It's like a blunder that's losing, but not cleanly losing at all. Maybe I go queen f5. Go check. Let's go maybe just 
here to hit the hit, hit, hit do the double double. I also have queen g5 as a threat now. Take and take. And now th this is just pretty cleanly winning. Let's just go here. Let's go here and rook g5, I guess. Because now I have a check. Need a more bomb for the prime thing so much. Okay, two and zero, oh, pretty good. Let's go here and here. Let's just take, go here, bishop c four. Okay, he's playing this line too. Everybody seems to be playing this line these days. This queen d seven line. Let's just take. don't remember why but this is this order is not supposed to be correct but I'm, I'm just gonna play here I think Tani could become the youngest GM definitely possible yeah definitely possible who knows if it'll happen but definitely it's it's definitely something that I could see they need a cast for the tier one thank you so much they said Daniel got to 34 Daniel I thought was over 35 wasn't he once Oh no, that was Ali Reza who was like 35. Okay. Did Danny get the 34 playing playing normal blitz or did he do, did he do it playing the 30 minute slot or 30 second slot? That's my only question. Let's play C3. Let's go here. Let's go. I guess I can go here maybe. Yeah, I meant 30 second. I just mean. Oh, Daniel's 3550 also. Yeah, I mean, I have no problem if they do it with Bullet, but I've, I've said this for some time now that chess.com really needs to fix their rating system uh, to where they separate 30 seconds from one minute. Because, yeah, I mean, like, I, I just 30 seconds is just not the same thing as as, as one minute. It's, it should be a separate, um, there should just be a whole separate category. Like, 30 seconds and 10 seconds should have their own little category. They need X, X, uh, X Camway for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, 30 seconds you can play it, but I just mean it's not the same thing at all. So they should they should classify it differently. Can take. Grishuk is playing poker. <laughs> okay, let's go here and trade some juicers. I don't even know if I like this. I should have gone rookie one first. Why, why didn't I just go rookie one? Or whatever. Oh, can I actually take and get cheeky? Can I get frisky with it here? I'm gonna try to get frisky with rookie one. I'm gonna try to get a little bit frisky here with maybe a sacrifice, something. I'm gonna try to get frisky. I'm gonna actually, can I sack? I really want to sack, but it doesn't look like it works. So I think I'm just gonna play traditional, just Bishop E3. Gotta be careful. I feel like I'm close to blundering something here. Yeah, like, I don't know. It just feels a touch loose. If I go Bishop D4, E5. Oh, he's got Rook D5. Shoot, so I, ah. It's kind of gross then. I guess I'll just go here and take. I'm not happy about this, but it is what it is. He does it. Wait. Oh, if I take, he's got queen f7. So bad. Okay, but it's still maybe not the end of the world. So I can take and take. Yeah, it's actually not the end of the world. I, I get all my pawns at least. It's got this. So I take and take and I go here. There's g5. So I'm going to take the open file, of course. Doesn't have h5. It's maybe not so bad, actually. It looks quite reasonable. Let's go here, hit the rook. It's not bad at all, in fact. Not bad at all. My king starts coming up. I mean, I I also have g4 here. And now knight f5 is a, I, I get a bastion, really nice bastion with knight f5. Okay, let's go 
here to hit the pawn, and I'm gonna go knight of five. Can't I go knight of five and rook h6 here to check and collect? I should be winning now. I think the whole position's starting to collapse for my opponent. So check and take. Yeah, now it's just it's, the whole thing is collapsing for my opponent. He's gonna lose all these pawns. Need a do mine TTTV for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, let's let's play the Karo Khan. I thought I got a good position relatively. Okay, he's gonna do this. I'll do this. Let's just do this. This is not good, by the way, to be clear, but I'll do it anyway. Do I drink a lot of coffee? Um, I drink a lot of like G Fuel. I mean, but who's counting anyway? I think A6 is right and F6 maybe. I don't remember how this line goes. I think it's like H4 and F6 or something. And now you have to play it's kind of like a uh, like a bond cloud a version of it with king f7 but this one is actually playable speaking of grishuk grishuk and i had this wait this move i'm not familiar with however i am not familiar with this move maybe i just take and take i'm not familiar with this h5 i thought white had to take I'm not familiar with this this doesn't look right to me maybe i'm crazy let's go here hit the pawn I saw you in a picture with Red Bull. Yes, Red Bull was a sponsor of mine for quite a few years. Um, but I'm with G Fuel now. But yeah, I had this against Grishuk, this position after H4, F6, but I took on G6. I didn't think I didn't think this was correct. The way that he's played this. Puzzle puzzle's not not equivalent to your real rating. Your puzzle should be significantly higher. Friendship ended with Red Bull. I spoke about that at length. I mean, basically they gave up on me. They it's, it, they thought that I was washed as a chess player. Um, you know, I, I actually started streaming, but they, they just thought I was washed. And then not only did not only did I, you know, sort of become a big time streamer, but I also um, I also won the 2019 U.S. Championship. So it was a, it was a good you know, good you know, kind of frankly, f u in their face. Let's play Queen A5 here, and go Bishop B4. Let's go here, hit the Queen. Yeah. I don't always win, no, you guys. But thank you for the compliments. I don't always win. Now, I want to go bishop b4. I do have knight d4 too. I feel like I'm better here somehow, but I don't see it. So I'm just going to do this in d4 maybe. We could maybe even just trade and go queen b6, but yeah. Kari still really doesn't put up a stream from side. Nah, I mean, why would I do that? That's, I mean, let's go here and castle. No, no need to be fake. But yeah, like honestly, like when I won the 2019 US Championship, I was very, I mean, obviously winning was nice in general, but like winning after like Red Bull basically dropped me and, and moved on to other things, that, that really made me feel good. It was like, it was very sweet. In many ways, like that, that was like, to me, like that really brought it home more than like, more than actually just winning the tournament. It was just like after, after Red Bull had stopped believing in me to like do that was, was really good. I can play d4 here. I kind of want to, but I don't think it's the right idea conceptually. Eh, who, eh, who cares? Let's just do it. Eh, who cares? Let's just play it. Let's take, let's go here. I mean, you can take with a knight, but I feel like my knight's jumping pretty fast here. Let's go here, knight e3. Do they sponsor any chess players? Uh, some of the subsidiaries, like uh, Red Bull, Red Bull India, for example, they are a sponsor of Tanya, but they're a subsidiary. They're not like, oh, H6 is a good move. Uh, this could be ugly. They're a subsidiary though. They're not actually like Red Bull, Red Bull. It's like the Indian, Indian, Indian uh, company. They, they support Tanya. I think um, there's, uh, in is it Uzbekistan? I think uh, Abdul Malik, uh, one, one of the female player from, uh, uh, let's just go here. If it doesn't work, doesn't work. Um, from uh, she's from Uzbekistan, I believe, or is it Kazakhstan? I get the two confused, but she is also, I believe, sponsored by the regional Red Bull there as well. Okay, so he takes. So I think I just take knight f6, rook f6. I mean, he has a ch yeah. So he takes, but see, this is too slow. Cause now I just take. And now the whole house kind of collapses. Let's 
go here. I'm just going to ignore the pawns. I mean, if he gets a pawn to g6, I lose, obviously. But I think I can stop him from getting down the board. So let's go here. I have rook c1. I also have knight g6 to, to sort of blockade against his pawns. I think I just go here. I could have also sacked, maybe. But anyway, this should be winning. Takes with a knight. Okay, I have knight g6 or knight f5. I'm going to go... Uh, let's go knight g6 here. Let's go queen e3 check. Drop the rook back. Oh, this is actually quite tricky. Uh, do I have knight f4, maybe? Yeah, let's just go for this. He's got no time. Yeah, I'm going to get the dub here. Although, the funny thing is, I don't actually have a forced win, which is kind of bizarre. It's kind of really bizarre. There's no forced win here. Wait, actually, it's threatening maiden one, I just realized. I didn't even see that. Checkmate. Let's go again. Play e4. Oh, let's go here and here. Probably gonna be the last. Game. I'm gonna try to get the get the the uh, McDoption here. But yeah. So anyway, though, I I, I do remember that very well. Um, I should have gone 95 first. Maybe? No, then queen d4. No, this is correct. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go here and hit the bishop. It goes e4. I thought I'd knight. I guess I just played d3 and take. It should be fine. Okay, let's just drop back, I guess. I mean, looks reasonable. Nothing too special. Nothing, nothing, nothing terrible at any rate. Okay, I guess I'll play... I think I'll do this because I think I want to save my bishop, kind of. I think I want to save it. I don't really know if it matters, but... Okay, I guess I'll go here so I can play c3, knight c4. Did Red Bull try coming back to you after I won in 2019? No, they didn't. Um, I'm going to castle or go knight c4. Maybe I can go c3, d4. Um, no, I mean, it's all good now. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with where I'm at now. But I do remember that quite well. It was just like, okay. Probably going to go c3, b4, d4. I'd love to get a get a big center here. He goes knight e5. I guess that's a logical move. Feels dubious somehow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go b4 and bishop b2 now. This is my idea, at least. To line up the targets. Because knights are good if they can get outposts, but the knights are, are not stabilized. I have a lot of pawns that are near the knight. I can target this way. And also, he has no pawns supporting the knights. They're very loose. I will never buy Red Bull from now on. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so, so like, I, I do remember that. It was like, they kind of, they kind of gave up on me. And, um... But I'm, I'm in a much better place. You know, they, they have the saying that what everything happens for a reason. And I really do believe that saying. Let's go here and target the knight. I play d4. I can also go c4. I mean, I really feel good here. I don't know. Somehow my position looks very pleasant. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing very well. I mean, this, I feel like I'm getting a big attack towards his king. Also, my king is not really weak here. It's very safe with all these pawns in front of it. He's looking to sack. I think he's looking to sack something. But again, it's it's really not going to work here, I don't think. I can play d5, maybe. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to go d5. Because he has to open up. He has to expose his king here. I know. This looks very shaky. Oh, whoa. Is he... Oh, he's looking... Is he looking to sack this way? I think he is. He's looking to cheese me somehow. So I think I'm going to take... If I take here and then go c5... Yeah, I just take here. Because he can't take. Because then he gets fossilized by my bishop. It's pretty rough for my opponent to play. 
He's also got, yeah, he's just got no time here. I think I just take and go, like, here. I mean, C5 just, oh, he's got check. But if, okay, he goes bishop e5, but I mean, I can even just take and go knight c4 to hit the queen. If you're gonna go queen g5, try to get the big cheese. Although it doesn't even actually work. It's worth a shot, though. I don't, he should try it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it doesn't work, though. He's gonna go queen g2, I take, take here, and I just have two juicers. Yeah, I take. The problem is now, I think I can just go here and check and collect. And also, if he comes up to take, I then fork him the back, back way with this check. And he resigns. We get the dub. Perfect. 